so welcome to another Chris Chris show make sure you're subscribed you turn on notification bell so as soon as I drop these videos you can like and participate in the comment section I don't know if you remember Jeffrey Epstein from last year he was arrested then he committed suicide while he was in prison some people are considering a conspiracy some people are considering it Donald Trump and the Clintons covering their tracks but either way he passed away his one-time girlfriend Jelaine Maxwell was arrested Thursday morning she was charged by New York federal prosecutors with six counts in connection with an ongoing federal investigation into Epstein's accomplices according to court documents and a person familiar with the matter. If you don't know what Epstein was doing, he was engaging minors to do illicit and illegal sexual activities with adults, celebrities of all shapes and sizes. They would fly him out, they would take him to places and make him promises. And Jelaine herself ultimately, she helped recruit groom these people and she ultimately abused these victims and this was ongoing in the 90s and I don't know if you guys have seen a lot of these pictures of Epstein and G Lane but they were at the Clintons weddings there's a picture of her with Trump there's a picture of her with a lot of celebrities and I don't know if you guys know what Pizzagate is I'm not gonna go too deep into it but just know some of your favorite celebrities or celebrities you don't like like Oprah like I said the Clintons Trump Ellen Degenerates. A lot of these people are under hot water and they're being accused of child sex trafficking, doing things with these minors. It's just, it's truly sick. And that's why I don't really like going into it. It really makes me uncomfortable. But I'm glad G Lane is finally being caught up and charged. But we also need to be mindful when she is in prison if the, another suicide is going to happen so they could potentially cover their tracks and not get these people caught up. That's not what we want. Everyone that's been a part of this needs to be held accountable because taking a advantage of children is the lowest form they're innocent they think those people are trying to help them they don't know any better and you're gonna groom them abuse them recruit them all this that and the other it's just disgusting even just talking about this subject just pisses me off honestly so maxwell would deal with girls as young as 14 so these you know what i mean these are high school student people that are being groomed to deal with celebrity older men so basically new york prosecution has been building a case on her for a year. There were some questions of where she was hiding out, but apparently she was in New Hampshire when she was arrested. And of course, Maxwell <laughs> denies wrongdoing and she calls people a liar, but there's way too much evidence. There's way too much proof. We're not believing it. We're not having it. You are a sick human being. You deserve the worst. You deserve the book thrown at you. I don't know what the worst is, but that's what you deserve. So remember, last year, Epstein, he was arrested and he had a suicide. We need to watch it about G Lane Maxwell if she has a suicide we also need to pay attention to like I said the Clintons the Trumps Oprah Ellen if you want to know more into it just type in Pizzagate look into it I'm not going to go in depth with all of it like I said it does not make me sit right but I got to give you guys the news and give you guys the updates at least she's arrested and finally being held accountable for because people are wondering like how does Epstein get arrested but his main accomplice has been a scot-free for a year so that's because the New York federal people are building up a case now they had the case to charge it and we'll see what goes forward but let's just be on the record if she commits suicide you know something is up so that was what I was going to give you guys an update about but as I was making this video we received some heartbreaking news I don't know if you guys are into streaming or you're a streamer yourself but 31 year old streamer Wreckful decided to end his life this morning and he had two really sad messages before before he decided to take his own life let me read them to you guys so he goes ah i feel bad for anyone who has to deal with my insanity please just know in these situations the insane person does not feel in control of their actions those were wreckful's last tweets before he took his life and that's what i mean this needs to be an awareness when people are saying they're dealing with stuff or they're dealing with depression please reach out to them please listen to them please take it seriously there's so many people on the internet when they see someone going down they go uh, why don't you just ended or you know they try and like act like it's funny to incite them or provoke them but when people are going through it they're going to take that stuff to heart and they're going to take it serious that's why it's just sad that someone that was able to reach a high platform be successful they still weren't happy in their own skin depression is very serious it's very real please take it serious and please tell your loved ones you love them because because we don't need to see people taking their lives or if we could do anything to help or reach out like i said i'm not really 
really into streaming, but I definitely, I've heard of Byron and I've heard of Wreckful before and he's pretty famous for doing World of Warcraft. He has over 936,000 Twitch subscribers. So you know he built up a platform, you know he did everything he needed to be. And now he's no longer here. And I was doing a little bit of research into it. He's been battling depression since 2019. He's been going through it and I guess he finally had enough and he decided to take it. So I take care of your mental health. If you're feeling down, talk to someone. It's okay to get a therapist as a man. Don't leave a crutch on you. Don't feel like you're weak or inferior because of that. It's okay to get help. It's okay to admit things aren't perfect and it's okay to try and better yourselves. That's just like the message I really wanted to see because every time I see someone take their lives, it hurts because it's like you always wonder, was there people there for him or what could you, what more could you have done or it's just, it's just a sad situation. But like I said, with Chris Chris, I give you guys the updates on news as it breaks or when it happens, whether that's today, whether that's tomorrow, whether that's a week or two from now, whenever the news comes, I will give it to you. That's, that's why you need to make sure you're subscribed, you turn on the notification bell for all my videos so you can like and participate in the comments section. Share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. This Chris Chris, I'm out. This motherfucker.